Good morning, dear friends. I have a very interesting story to tell you about how close Toyota is to mass produce solid state batteries. And the world's biggest car maker, Toyota, now says staking speed needed for full manufacturing of solid state batteries is almost there. And did you know that Toyota in September took journalists, analysts, and investors on a tour of its Teiho plant in Aichi Prefecture in Japan, where the company is preparing to produce solid-state batteries in large quantities. Not small quantities, but large quantities, despite their growing confidence in manufacturing technology of solid-state batteries. Executives at Toyota admit that the company still needs to improve how it ensures the quality of battery materials when they are produced in large volumes. So welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla, electric vehicle, solid state battery, automotive news that I bring to your attention for your decision making. And if you are here first time, please subscribe for our channel. Toyota says it is close to being able to manufacture next generation solid state batteries at the same rate as existing batteries for electric vehicles, marking a milestone in the global race to commercialize the solid state battery technology. Pay attention, the big news here is that Toyota is able to manufacture, actually it's very close to manufacture solid state batteries, at the same rate as existing batteries for electric vehicles. Because in the past, we have heard a lot of news about solid state batteries. Before that, even Tesla spoke the next many times about its 4680 batteries. And this Tesla had a small manufacturing capacity at Cato Road near. Um, Cato Road project near the Fremont factory. So companies, when they start battery production or car production, they start starting small volumes. Starting in small volumes is easy to do. Mass manufacturing, manufacturing at the same rate as existing batteries for electric vehicles, which is already volume manufacturing in the world. That's the difficult part. And the news is that Toyota is very close to that and even has taken journalists, according to Financial Times, to a facility where Toyota is about to start the manufacturing. I will have the link from Financial Times report in the description of this video, guys, so you can uh, take a look at that. But also, please check out our coverage at Torque News. Com. So its headways, meaning Toyota's headways in manufacturing technology of solid state batteries, follows a breakthrough in battery materials recently claimed by Toyota, the world's largest car maker, by vehicles sold. It would allow Toyota to mass produce solid state batteries by 2027 or 2028. Yes, I know that there are almost three years to start that, but Toyota is preparing for that. Solid state batteries have long been heralded by industry experts as a potential game changer that could address electric vehicle battery concerns such as charging time, capacity, and the risk of catching fire. Now, I said that there are still three years to four years, but I'm talking about mass producing at that level so my expectation and from what i read from media and toyota's announcements toyota will start mass manufacturing solid state batteries at small quantities even sooner maybe starting next year maybe starting you know at the end of next year but in 2027 2028 toyota should reach so, uh, um, gross uh, mass production of solid state batteries but i'm about to tell you that other companies also have started like tesla battery provider catl or factorial energy has opened already a factory anyway let's move on with this news solid state batteries like i said have long been heralded as by industry experts as a potential game changer that could address most important electric vehicle battery concerns charging time capacity and the risk of catching fire if successful toyota expects its electric cars powered by solid state batteries to have a range of 1200 kilometers that's about 700 miles 745 miles if not if more precise this is more than twice the range of its current electric vehicles and the charging time of 10 minutes or less. Imagine you have an electric vehicle. It goes 745 miles on one charge. The charging time takes, takes 
10 minutes and it is less prone to catching fires. But producing solid state batteries in large volumes is costly and difficult, with Goldman Sachs warning of a relatively tough path towards scaling up over the coming decade. Problems include the extreme sensitivity of these batteries to moisture and oxygen, as well as the mechanical pressure needed to hold them together to prevent the formation of dendrites, the metal filaments that can cause short circuits. According to Toyota, one of the most critical and difficult technologies for mass production of solid-state batteries is the assembly process of solid-state battery production, in which the layers of cathode anode cells need to be staked quickly and with high precision, without damaging the materials. When asked whether Toyota was now able to produce solid-state batteries at the same rate as current lithium-ion batteries, a Toyota engineer said, in terms of the staking speed, which I just said is the problem, we are almost there, Toyota says. We are going to roll out bigger volumes and check the quality, Toyota said. Toyota in September took journalists, analysts, and investors on a tour of its Taiho plant in Aichi Prefecture, where the company is preparing to produce solid-state batteries in large quantities. By the way, I will try to find images of this um, place and uh, bring you more reports on that, friends. The plant to follow the workshop in June, in which the company claimed to have found a solution for materials that would make the batteries last longer and deliver a stable performance. Toyota the last week announced a partnership with energy group Idemitsu Kosan to jointly develop and produce a solid-state battery material called sulfide solid electrolyte, which the company said was most promising in addressing the durability issue. You can find this report at torquenews.com by visiting us there. Development timetables have been pushed back repeatedly in the past. I mean, the development timetable for solid-state battery production, leaving many analysts skeptical about whether Toyota will be able to hit its latest commercialization target. Despite their growing confidence in manufacturing technology, executives at Toyota admit that the company still needs to improve how it ensures the quality battery materials when they are produced in large volume. At the news conference last week, Toyota President Koji Sato also admitted that production volumes of solid-state batteries were likely to be small when the company rolls them out electric uh, vehicles as early as 2027. I think the most important thing at the moment is to put out the solid-state batteries into the world and we will consider expansion in volume from there, he said. Other companies have also made progress recently. Like, for example, Chinese battery maker CATL, which provides batteries to Tesla, revealed it was preparing to mass-produce its semi-solid batteries before the year's end, before the end of this year. I have a report on that at torquenews.com. While South Korean Samsung SDI has completed a fully automated pilot line for solid-state batteries. If I see this report gets more interest and that more people are interested in solid-state batteries, friends, I will cover them and I will bring more reports on that. In the meantime, solid-state battery developer Factorial Energy announced it has begun operations at its new state-of-the-art facility in Massachusetts. The new facility serves as a key milestone as Factorial looks to scale its solid-state technology for electric vehicle implementations. This is Armin Haria from torpedoes.com. Please, guys, subscribe to this channel. Come back for more reports. I will have a lot of interesting electric vehicle and solid-state battery reports. Tesla reports. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report.